Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. Let's talk about multiplying radicals. Talk about uh, multiplying radicals. And just to recap, the rule for multiplying radicals is pretty straightforward. Uh, you have the radical x and the radical y. As long as these are both roots, the same root, it will be a, or rather x, y. Now, same would go for cubes as well. As long as it's cube root, it will be the same rule. Now, uh, let's do some basic, uh, let's try a couple basic problems. Uh, we've got, let's say, um, oh, how about um, square root of 18 times the square root of 6. All right, so uh, 48 times 6, that's 108, right? Eight time, 18, 18 times 6 is 108. I did that in my head, actually. I just timed um, 6 times 8, and it was 48. 6 times 10 is 60, uh, so 60, times, 60 plus 48 is 108. Now we're going to factor. Let's move that over a little bit and factor it. Uh, 2 and 54 and 2 and uh, 27 and 3 and 9 and 3 and 3. <clears throat> so uh, when, we, when we look at this, this is, of course, square root. Take all that down. We've got a pair of 2s here. And we have a pair of 3's here, and we have the radical 3 left over. So it's going to be 2 times 3, square root 3. Uh, so that would be 6 to the square root of 3. That would be the answer. That's an example of how uh, to use the, uh, how to multiply radicals. Thanks for watching. And let's take that same problem <clears throat> to Wolfram Alpha, see what it does with it. Pretty straightforward. Uh, square root of 18 times square root of 6. There's the equation. And the result is 6. <clears throat> Uh, 6 to the square root 3, which is the same answer we got. All right, thanks for watching.